right. So, when we come to Jesus, there is always an exchange that takes place. You know? We give him something and he gives us something very, very valuable. We give him all our sorrow, all our shame, all our sickness and our pain. And when we do that, God gives us his joy. He gives us his peace. And that's something that the world cannot give us. What Jesus gives us, nothing else on the earth can give us. He gives us his joy and he gives us his peace. Okay, that's what the song is talking about. I'm trading my sorrows. I'm trading my sickness. I'm trading my pain and I'm trading my shame. And I'm laying it down for the joy of the Lord. All right, let me find who's going to pray for us today. Uh, let me see who's available. Okay. Right. I'm going to ask... Um, who's there? David, would you pray for us today? Okay. All right. So David will be leading us in prayer after the singing. All right, let's sing this song. I'm trading my sorrows. I'm trading my sorrow. I'm trading my shame. I'm laying them down for the joy of the Lord. I'm trading my sickness I'm trading my pain I'm laying them down For the joy of the Lord Oh, oh, oh I say yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, yes, Lord Yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, yes, Lord Yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, yes, Lord, amen. I'm trading. I'm trading my sorrow. I'm trading my shame. I'm laying them down for the joy of the Lord. I'm trading my sickness I'm trading my pain I'm laying them down For the joy of the Lord Oh, 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 oh I say yes, Lord, yes, Lord Yes, yes, Lord Yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, yes, Lord Yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, yes, Lord, amen. Yes, Lord, I say yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, yes, Lord, amen. Okay, press but not cry. Press but not crushed, persecuted, not abandoned, down but not destroyed. Blessed be on the coast, for his promise will endure. His joy is gonna be my strength. Though the sorrow may last for the night, his joy comes in the morning. I'm trading my sorrow I'm trading my shame I'm laying them down For the joy of the Lord Trading my sickness I'm trading my sickness I'm trading my pain I'm laying them down for the joy of the Lord Oh, 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 oh I say yes, Lord, yes, Lord Yes, yes, Lord Yes, Lord, yes, Lord Yes, yes, Lord Yes, Lord, yes, Lord Yes, yes, Lord, amen All right 
so what are we saying yes to we are saying yes to the joy of the lord okay we are saying yes to the joy of the lord coming into our hearts all right let's look at one more song it comes all right okay this is a song which tells you about the gospel the gospel is god's good news okay what is the good news of god good news of god is that jesus loves me and because he loves me he came down to the earth and he lived just like a man but he was more than a man but he lived just like a man and then he went to the cross and he died for me and he rose on the third day and he has ascended to the heavens and i am going to be with him when i die i will join him there in heaven okay that's the good news about jesus and one day he's going to come back soon and we're going to come back with him and that is also part of the good news okay so good news is jesus died for us so we don't have to be sad we don't have to be you know living in sin anymore he can set us free by forgiving us all our sins that's what this song is all about it's all, all about the good news that god has done in our lives the lord loves me oh what a wonder i see a rainbow shines through my window the lord loves me the lord loves me oh what a wonder i see shines through my window the lord loves me he died for me died for me on the cross of calvary he bore my sin and my shame and he died for me let's sing it again died for me on the cross of calvary he bore my sin and my shame and he died for me he rose from the dead fulfilling each promise he said and some day home to my savior i shall be led he rose from the dead fulfilling each promise he said and some day home to my savior i shall be and some day and some day home to my savior i shall be led all right over to david is going to lead us in a time of prayer dev meshir gena la pidave inna los namaka veendum meshil kodi charan grahichu vanni inna vannirikkunna ellavareyum anugrahikkaname namaku ഇന്ന് പഠിപ്പിക്കുന്നതെല്ലാം മനസ്സിലാവണമേ ഇത് കണ്ടക്ട് ചെയ്യുന്ന ജീവൻ ചേട്ടനെയും മനുഷ്യ ചേട്ടനെയും അനുഗ്രഹിക്കണമേ ഞങ്ങൾ ഇതും പഠിക്കുന്നതല്ല ഞങ്ങൾക്ക് ജീവിതത്തിൽ ഉപയോഗിക്കാൻ അനുഗ്രഹിക്കണമേ ഇന്ന് വരാൻ പറ്റാത്തതെല്ലാം അടുത്ത ആഴ്ച കൂട്ടി ചേർക്കണമേ ആമേ താങ്ക് യു ഡേവിഡ് you know whenever i i see david's uh, title you know on his uh, zoom thing i feel like uh, i'm suddenly reminded of peter and you know people like that his name was simon but he became peter david was earlier david but now he has become d at the rate of v slash d huh? so he has a changed man this bible study has changed david okay yeah but but only in name but then <laughs> we want something deeper than that right all right so today's activity is a very difficult activity because you are going to be taking the spotlight 
okay so uh, i think uh, jibin we have the spotlight feature no in uh, in zoom we can do that for any of them is it possible uh, just give me a minute <laughs> okay right so this is called uh, spotlight and uh, uh, you have to show and tell okay this this game is called show and tell what we do is you i will give you exactly 1 minute okay 1 minute you have to find out something from your house which is very 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 important for you okay an object it has to be an object okay condition number 1 it has to be an object and it has to be very very important for you okay and you have to go and bring it okay you have to go and bring it and you have to show it to everybody and tell us in a very few words why that thing is unavoidable it is very very important for you right so uh, if you can't show the object then we cannot believe you so we are you have to show and tell whatever is that object you have to show it on the webcam and you tell us why that thing is very very important for you can right? you please tell it one more time yes i can always tell it one more time the rule is you have i will give you one minute you have to go and find out an object bring it to the webcam and show it to us and tell us why that thing is very very important for you and you cannot live without that object okay ready that's called show and tell show us the object and tell us why it is important ready all right your one minute starts now go get an object and well, one second one second can yes Aaron, you got your lights back? Yes, Michelle. You're you're asking me something. Michelle, Rachel. I can't hear you. Yeah, it, it voice came, but it went off. Are you there? Are you there? Oh, she's gone to get her thing. Okay. Can we choose two things? Yeah, you can choose two things, but definitely you have to bring one thing. Jonathan just joined us. Okay, uh, shall I tell you the rules of the game? You heard the rules. I heard. You I heard. heard. Okay, all right. Okay, anybody who did not understand the rules, you can again ask me. But me, me. Yeah, Michelle, you didn't understand. Okay. You can Go show get an object. a living thing, right? You can. It can be anything. It can be a living thing. It can be a non-living thing. If you find it hard to keep the living thing, uh, you know, with you for a long time, we will ask you first, so that you can tell us, show us first itself, and tell us. what uh, your your important thing is all right well, um i did it here can we bring a living thing yes you can bring a living thing i already found mine you found yours okay yeah uh, okay don't show us don't show us now when you turn on your camera i want you to show us what it is okay all right okay so my uncle yeah i have something in mind uh, but I have been quarantined and I can't actually get out of my room. So. Oh, you can't get out of the room. Okay, no problem, no problem. You can tell us that important thing, but you can you can get something uh, to sh you may have to draw an object to show us what it is. No, if I see the object, you are going to understand really well. So. No, no, we want to see the object. You have to show and tell. So uh, <laughs> it will be good if you can. Yeah, my brother will show you. Okay, fine. Yeah. All right, ready. Yes. All right. So whom should I start with let me see uh Michelle do you want me to start with you or Dia you want to start Yes we'll start okay. uh, can okay. I can I start Yes so first will be Michelle and then we'll go to Dia ready Yes um, I don't know if you can see him but this is my dog his name is Sydney His name is Sydney oh hi yes. Sydney nice to see you All right <laughs> say hello to your friends all friends say hello to Sydney yeah <laughs> Okay, that's a cute little dog. I can see his eyes. Is it black color? He's a Rottweiler. Yes, it's a black Rottweiler. Yeah. Ah, that's why we can't see. Yeah, don't take the phone too close to him. He might even chew it up. You know. <laughs> no, he's in a cage. He can't do anything more than this. Does he know that he's in a Zoom meeting? No, probably not because I'm okay. on headphones. All right. I so. I doubt if he hears your voice. Okay, so Michelle, you have to tell us. in few words why this person is very very important to you and you cannot live without him um uh 
He's just important to me. I mean, I don't know what to say. Okay, is he friendly with you, or does he always bite you, or uh, does he attack you? No, he won't bite me or attack me. Okay. Uh, does he eat all your leftover foods? Uh, if you give him, yes. Yes. Okay. He does he destroy your plants and your property? Um, if you give him the chance, yes. Yes. Okay. Uh, does he attack your brothers? No. When you tell I him go attack my brothers, does he attack your brothers? Ah, uh, not really. But like, he does it if he wants to. Like, he kind of huggy bears you. He okay. kind of huggy bears you. Like whether. Whether he wanted or not. Does he guard your house? Um. Yes. Like. Yes. Ah, yes. Okay. All right. So, uh, uh, so if you don't see him for a few days, how do you feel? I feel like I'm missing something important. All right. Very You're missing important. something very, very important. Someone very, very important is missing. Okay. So, uh, Sydney is the one of the most important pe persons in uh, Michelle's life. and uh, she is very very close to this person who who just gives her hugs and you know and uh, not not much of use otherwise yeah but he does guard the house so yes thank you for meeting us uh, helping us to meet sydney now over to dia yes dia okay next next is going to be able then aaron okay yes over to dia My important thing is the Bible because right. if I believe in it, then I can be saved. All right. Otherwise, I'll go to hell. Okay. So why why do you say that you can't uh, live without it? I mean, uh, there are many many books in your house, right? Why why is the Bible special for you? Okay. You you you're in mute. Okay, you're thinking. Uh, okay, well, when you don't read the Bible for a few days, you feel. What do you feel? Don't feel anything much. Okay, you don't feel much. Okay, I, I, do you feel relieved? Oh, hey, Nia, why are you like that? You feel like that? I like to read the stories of the Bible. You like to read the stories, uh, but you don't like to read other stories. I like uh, comics and um, you know. Well, I like to read. Oh. All right. Okay. Stories are my favorite so, things. So reading is your favorite thing, not the Bible, right? Well, some stories of the Bible. Oh okay. yeah, some stories it, of the Bible. It's, it's interesting. It's very very interesting. Okay. So Dia cannot live without her Bible. Bible is very important for her, and uh, if she doesn't read the Bible for a few days, she doesn't miss anything. But she loves to read the stories of the Bible. Okay. Thank you, Dia. over to abel my diary your diary all right abel comes on spotlight yes uh, your diary is what is very very precious to you okay you can't live without your diary why do you say that you can't live without your diary because i let a lot of my memories the oh all your secret moments i mean sorry, life memories are there this, all yeah. right okay what what kind of memories are you talking about how old are these memories uh, these are uh, prehistoric dinosaur time no 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 okay your your history yeah okay this this is the same diary you you were using when you were in the second standard third standard from third standard till now same diary okay i think the pages are very much eh? too many in number yeah right. you don't write much of diaries you just uh, look at it no chatta i write it when i am well when i feel lot happier when i feel okay. lot sadder all right okay <laughs> all right yes so whenever he feels happy and whenever he feels sad yes carolyn you can do that no bro she asked me a question right okay so uh when you don't see your diary what goes through your mind you suddenly think oh my brother has taken my diary <laughs> oh no sometimes, all my secrets sometimes <laughs> sometimes yes so he he checks out all your secrets from your diary huh? Yeah. yeah atul atul you have to be careful of atul yes keep it in a safe place keep it locked up huh? all right over to uh where is he i can't find him uh where did he go 
Oh yes, Aaron, are you there? I can see you now. Yes, over to Aaron. Bible. Oh, okay. He is bringing the Bible over to Aaron. Aaron's Bible is his most uh, precious thing, valuable thing. Okay. Uh, why? Why do you say the Bible is uh, very, very important for you, Aaron? Because only the Bible can save me. Okay, Bible can save you. Yeah. Uh, even the fire force can save you if you are in deep trouble. Police can save you if you are in uh, in a real soup. Uh, your your brother can save you if you are uh, you know needing physical help. Why do you say the Bible can save you? Bible can only uh, save me from going to hell if I believe in the Bible. Okay, from believing the Bible, you are saved. Okay, right. So when when you don't read the Bible for a few days, how do you feel? I feel something is missing. You miss you. You feel like something is missing in your life. All right. So Bible is very very important. When when do you read the Bible? Morning or in the evening? Evening. Evenings. Okay. Good. Which book are you reading right now? Any book I read. Any book? Huh? Okay. You just open randomly and you think, okay, in the edu I can ah in the palle ne I can. Then you open up Psalms and you read there. And then you open up Revelation and oh my God. Okay. You sometimes not Revelation. Some other book. All right. So Bible is very very important to Aaron. and when he doesn't read the bible for a few days he feels like he's missing something all right next we are going to marina and then we'll go to joe okay marina are you ready ah okay david yeah, has to show us I what the object is yeah i'm calling him all right uh, david can you show us what the object is okay 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 one minute oh you mean david is the most important thing in your life no no <laughs> okay <laughs> that that is too much yes uh, uh, let me see one minute oh david is hunting for the object oh yes here we see another live person okay who is this now who um, that um yeah the elder one is toby younger one is elsa toby and elsa yeah are they from frozen no no okay no okay so they don't help yeah, you only elsa Elsa oh Elsa from snowman mm-hmm. building a snowman yes okay so why why do you say they are important for you um like we bought them when the lockdown started uh huh and i like really miss them when i'm not seeing them when i'm not with them i feel like i have to go out, out of the house and like meet with them and i already told them in quarantine so i can't really see them i can see the rest of my family members but i can't see my dogs I so I feel like I really need to go out hug them and play with them and all. Like yeah. I miss them. Thank God for this class that you are able to now see them live. No, ah, oh, see, <laughs> such a good thing that uh, Thursday Tammy is doing for you. Yes. Okay. How old are they? Uh, I think the Toby is ten months and Elsa is seven. Okay. Nice. What what breed are they? Lab. Labs. Both are labs. Okay. Yeah. So those are the cute. double fellows who are uh, precious to marina yeah she can't see them now and she misses them badly okay good so they are very very important to her all right so next is joe and after that is joel and joan okay right get ready with your things guys Sir, right uh, joe are you uh, yeah. so we should sew separately or one of course yes what is precious for you may not be what is precious for your sister so Yes, every person has to show me individually. Yeah. Yes, Joe, are you ready? Uh, uncle, I don't have anything in mind. You don't show. have anything in mind. You no, I don't know. What, I don't know what to show, Uncle. You don't know what to show. What do you spend most time with, uh, Joe? What do you like to spend your free time with? Mm, I don't know. Okay. I Any toy? Know. Might be a toy. Might be a book. Or maybe a an in musical instrument or whatever it is that you think. that you can spend you love to spend time with that thing uh i like to read books yeah which book give me a book which you which you loved to read yeah uh this oh yes the diary of a wimpy kid all right that's your favorite book almost have the entire series why this do you like show, that uh, because it is so funny and yes. uh, funny and mostly a little bit adventurous okay So do you feel do you like you really are that like uh, wimpy kid, kid? Huh? Yeah. <laughs> All right. So just two more books, and we have the entire series of. Wimpy I kid. know you're a collector. You're collecting the entire series of the wimpy kid, huh? 
My brother you has more. I only uh-huh. have this. Okay, what your brother has is yours only, na? Yeah. Mm. Yes. So, okay. So his favorite stuff is the Diary of the Wimpy Kid series, and he is reading one right now. Very good, excellent. All right, over to Joel and Joanne, and then we'll go to Jonathan and Joanna. Okay. Yes. Over to Joel and Joanne. Yes, Joel, you can start, or you want ladies first. Ah, yes, ladies first. No, ladies first. Okay. okay, okay. Joanne, what's your favorite thing, Joanne? My eyes and my nose. your eyes and your nose huh? okay uh, uh, those are your no you have to take up an object you can't say anything on you uh, we all love our eyes and our water. nose na. water is your favorite thing why would you say water because uh, water is precious and uh, we can't live without water definitely you can't live without water yes okay which 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 brand of water is your favorite is it bisleri or is it aquafina or is it uh, kenar vellam normal vellam there is kenar vellam yes vellam well. okay okay so you are in the well all right okay her favorite thing is uh, uh, green water right pacha vellam yes her favorite thing is green water pacha vellam and uh, we will go over to joel and he is going to tell us what is his favorite yeah uh, my favorite uh, the books i read uh... all right which is your favorite book right now I cannot Please see that. Handle. Alistair MacLean. Is it a clean book? No. Okay. Yes. Ah, uh, it's a. I borrowed from library. Oh, okay. You borrowed it from the library. This is yeah. a war book. No, uh, ship. Ah, uh, warship book. Warship book. Okay. Yeah. Very good. Alistair MacLean is supposed to be uh, writing a lot about war and you know fighting and. Yeah, spy good. and like that. Okay. Which which library are you a member of? Ellur. Um, Ellur. Okay. Are they still working? Yeah, they Ellur. opened uh, uh, one one month ago. Okay. Very good. So you're reading Alistair MacLean. That's very very okay. No, I read other books too. Yes. Like Harry Potter, Alex Riders. Uh, okay. Like so you're a reader. Yeah. If you don't, if you're not able to read for a few days, how do you feel? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that's a good question, and my sister knows it. Why, better what? than me okay give you give your mic to your sister what happens to him uh, will he become the hulk will he become a monster if he doesn't no no then what uh, will uh, he will get angry ah see that's what i said he will become the hulk see he hulk smash <laughs> joel will become joel smash ah, you get angry when you don't get to read yes you have to uh, feel, no have to not angry more. but i I don't have other hobbies, and also I feel I bored. And correct, that is when yeah. you start attacking your sister. Yes, yes I know. Yes, yes. No, course. I don't attack. Of course. <laughs> All right. So we are going over to Joanna and Jonathan now. Yes, Joanna. What's your most precious thing? My most precious things are my books. Behind me, can you see? All right. Give me a show. Me one book which you love the most. The most. I like. Harry Potter series. Okay. And the Percy yes. Jackson series. Then I also right. like Agatha Christie and all Sherlock Holmes and all. Very then good. Then I also like story. writing on my diary. If you would recommend a story to one of your uh, you know, group mates here, which one would you recommend? The best story that you you read so far. Best story, I would say, it's Harry Potter. Harry Potter. Which one? Which one of Harry Potter? It's to start with Philosopher's Stone, first one. Okay, Philosopher's Stone. All right. So, if you can't read for a few days, how do you feel? I've never gone without reading for like yeah. at least one day. I always read every day. I read. So when when you feel that thought, like you have to read, you know, uh, you have to read something, or you have to read something very specific. No, I read. I read. 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 Like anything and everything, I get uh, get my hands on. I'll read except my school textbooks. I know, I know. <laughs> Somehow they put you to sleep. Yes, they have this yes. strange power to put you to sleep. Yes. Okay. So Joanna is a reader and she loves to read books. Let's go over to Jonathan. Yes. And after that, I'm going to ask Saina and Karisma because they are together. Okay. Right? So Saina and Karisma, get ready. Yes, Jonathan. What's your favorite? What's the most precious? Yes. Oh, who's that? Oh my! That's my cat. Yes. Who is? Who, what's the name of the cat? 
His name is Juicy and uh, it loves uh, it, it, it it does not eat the food waste that we give it. It only eats freshly cleaned milk, wow. cleaned fish. So we buy it in dairy fish. Okay. What it, name? Is it called Juicy? Yes, Juicy. Oh, you mean fresh and juicy, mango fruity, that juicy. Okay, <laughs> right. Then it loves... Is it, it a loves, male cat or a female cat? It's a female cat. No wonder it, it is very, you know, fussy about uh, eating the food and all that. Yes. Uh, then it loves biscuits, especially milk bikis, you know. It loves it so much that... And that's a tin where we put these biscuits and all. When the sound of the tin opening itself from somewhere, it will come running to me asking for it. Then yeah. it loves milk also. Then it kisses me when I ask it to kiss. When it feels also, it kisses me. Then for my afternoon nap, it sleeps with me. Well, I had a cat with me too. I used to name it Kit Cat. You know, and uh, but it never used to give me a kiss. Whenever I ask it for a kiss, it will give me a scratch. <laughs> yeah, naughty cat. All right, so there you have Juicy. That's his favorite person. And uh, it's a female cat. And uh, she's a very, very cute one. Again, okay. yes, so white. All right, over to Saina and uh, Karisma. And after that, I will be going to Carolyn and uh, who's there? Who, Carolyn and Anton. Anton, we finished, no? Okay, uh, Carolyn and then Me? Anne. Only Aaron. I didn't tell. Oh, yeah, Aaron said. So Anton is Carolyn and then Anton. Yes, Saina, let's start. What is your favorite thing that you cannot live without? I like books. Books? Show me a book which you read. I don't have it. I'm oh. not in the home. Oh, you're so not at the home. You're at Karisma's house. No, we you're are at our grandfather's house. Okay, okay. Right. So you don't have a book with you. Which is the last one that you read? I... I like song books the most. Songs. Song Poetry yeah. or song books? Songs. songs, songs. Songs, okay. Which which song did you learn recently? Any song which you suddenly remember? Ah, favorite song? I didn't hear what you said. Which is your favorite song? Which you listen again yeah. and again? Fear Not. Fear Not, okay. That's based on Isaiah. So that's your favorite song. When you can't listen to songs, how do you feel? If you were to have a quarantine from songs. That never happened to me. I know, but if it happens, how would you feel? Somebody said, you know, you can't listen to any more songs. How would you feel? Oh, no. I will feel terrible. Yeah, I know. Your life will be miserable if you don't listen to songs. Yes, Charisma. What is your favorite? Water. Water. Oh, yes, you are. Uh, what is the brand? Bisleri, Aquafina, well water. Drinking water. Drinking water. Any drinking water will do. Okay. For me, taste is very, very important. Some water tastes very bitter. I don't like bitter water. You know, if you taste Madras. Uh, in Chennai also. Ah, yes, There's Madras water is salty. Special. Salt. Yeah, you don't have to drink uh, water actually. There you have to drink Pepsi only. You know? Otherwise, it will be very, very dangerous. Okay, so you're a water person. If you can't drink water for a day, how will you feel? Dehydrated. Yes. Do you drink much water a day? Huh? Do you drink much water a day? How many yes. cups? Yes. Eight. Nine. Ten. Wow, that's good. Okay, so almost two, two and a half liters of water. Manojangal? Yes. Uh, which uh, water company, uh, water do you like? Aquafina, Bisleri? No, I don't buy Aquafina or Bisleri. I actually get, uh, you know, water supplied in a can and uh, in a, we invert it and then you... Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. That one. In our house, we use that. Yeah. I don't like the taste of that. So, we use this. Yeah. Uh, are the, uh, which company is that? McDonald's? Mac, something like that. Is there? Some, uh, well, some, some springs, aqua springs. Ah, yes, yes. Blue color. Yeah, it's coming. Uh, to All right, over to Carolyn. Carolyn, what is your precious, precious thing? Show me. My sister. Yeah, your sister. Where's your sister? Oh, she's having class. Okay. All right. Is there a photo? 
Yeah, online class. Is, do you have a photograph of us? Yeah. Ah, you see, so that you don't even have a photo of us. Yeah, sad. So sad. I am not at my house. I was in my house elsewhere. All right. So, uh, why do you say she is precious to you? Because she's know, quite... in every way, she is very supportive. Oh, okay. Is she your elder sister or your younger sister? No. Older. Younger. Younger sister. Younger sister. Okay. Does she destroy your things? No. Oh, okay. So good. Sometimes. So if you can't see your baby sister for a few days, how would you feel? I will miss her a lot. Okay. And sometimes tears in my eyes. Yes. So you will miss her so badly that you will even cry sometimes. Yes. Over to Atul. Atul, are you there? All right. Atul is showing me something. What is this Oxford? Of? Around the world in 80 days. Atul, your volume is cut. Your sound is cut. Around the world in 80 days. That's your favorite book? Yes. Why, why do you like that book? You because like that? that is more adventures okay. and some fun. Okay. Some Which, funny things. Do you like traveling? Yes, a lot. Which is your favorite place you have traveled to? Already you have traveled to that place. Which is your favorite place? Uh, hmm? Trishur. Trishur. You've gone to Trishur. Wow. That's my mother's native place. Okay. So you've been to Trishur. Yeah, that's a beautiful place, no? Yeah, I've been also to Trishur. It's a good place. Yes, many of us have been to Trishur. Would you like to go there again, Atul? Yes. All right. So he likes Trishur so much. All right. So next is Anne. And after that is David. Okay. Let's go over to Anne. Anne, are you ready? Manu Singh, I am also there. Who is there? I didn't hear you. Alan. Alan, yes. I'm coming to you, Alan. Yes, Anne. Oh, yes, you got your guitar. Great. Okay. Uh, why do you say guitar is very, very important for you? Um, because it has you know, gotten me through a lot of hard days. It's like really calming. And Even. it has been through a lot. <laughs> so you can't live without your guitar? No. It would be hard, right? Yes, living without the guitar mm. is very, very hard. Okay. Which is the favorite song that you would like to play on the guitar? I'm not going to ask you to play it now. So you can yeah. boldly say it. Mm. Any one you would like to play? You you play well on the guitar. Excellent. Uh, not really. <laughs> it's okay. uh, I'm still learning though. <laughs> no problem. So which song would yeah. you like to play on the guitar? You're asking me for the lollipop? Atul mute. Yes, Atul mute. Yes. And coming back to you, which song would you like to play yeah. on the guitar? Oh. You're thinking about all the songs. Yes. Choose one. What, what is the one that you last played? Last played? Okay. Wait, um, there's one by Bruno Mars, right? Uh, there's a song called Moon River. It's like really... Moon like River. Song. Oh, I should listen yeah, to it. Yeah, Moon River. Okay. What is the yeah, name of the guitar? You know, you You're holding? the JJ Heller version of it. Oh, the JJ Heller version of it. Moon River. Got it. Mm -hmm. Okay. What's, what brand is your guitar? Is it the Yamaha or is it Gibson? It's called German. <laughs> I think it's Chinese. German, but it's a beginner guitar, but like a really good. Okay, guitar. so you are you are learning to play the guitar, and that is very very important for you. Tough days without a guitar is very very difficult. Okay, over to Alan. Alan, my boy, are you there? 
book yes book story book. story book which story book are you talking about i can't see you anonymous tilton anonymous tilton okay oh geronimus tilton yes yeah, i yeah. know okay that mouse thing <laughs> right so which which book would you recommend to our friends as the best book um, on geronimo the battle for the crystal castle battle for the crystal castle note that huh? that's a one one good book that you should not miss of geronimo stilton yes if you can't read your books for a few days how do you feel alan so bad so bad yeah so bored or bad boring boring yeah life is boring without reading yes so good so he's a bookworm and he loves to read geronimo okay and anybody wants a good collection of books you can always ask alan uh, uncle yes uncle, i also have an entire collection of geronimo stilton i have battle for crystal castle yeah i asked you know which is your favorite but you didn't say this one <laughs> and the ship of secrets and this yes i have an entire collection but i cannot oh, read 16 books yeah good i have 27 books see it's it's a battle of numbers it is not a battle of numbers you are both collectors so you can keep collecting <laughs> yes over to david okay next is abana and dan be ready david are you there mr david oh he's showing me a computer david you're muted hello can i you... yes i can hear you i attend my classes through this, so okay without so, this i will get a scolding from my teacher okay your computer uh, is the most precious thing that you have right now because th that helps you to attend their classes okay so yes. without that if you get online you will be in soup oh, without that you can't soup. get online yeah you will be in trouble yes. right all right of course yes only because of that he is he loves likes the computer but you don't play on the computer do you amma sammadhi kula i know so yeah no games on the computer it has this no. okay so given the option would you play of course yes of course all right without okay. a doubt all right so which is your favorite game david on computer or on computer minecraft minecraft you're a minecrafter okay over to abana abana and dan abana what's your favorite uh my favorite thing is i mean not favorite but thing that i cannot live without is my phone correct okay uh, so actually all my things are in this phone so i actually my entire day works with the phone you mean like uh, breakfast lunch dinner uh, except eating except. part uh, okay. eating surviving uh, part because uh, if, when my laptop was not there all my work i did it in my phone all that stuff is like there okay and also for entertainment purpose and i'm okay. and this is one thing i'm trying to make it not important in my life hmm. but it is important so i'm right. trying so if, if your if your phone got damaged let it not happen if your phone uh, got... it happened once okay. it was a beautiful time <laughs> <laughs> all right for you or for the others for others and also no for me actually uh, for me others it was a new sense but you would have lost all your work no hard work uh that phone was a very dabba phone okay, okay. so it wasn't a much okay so uh, this is your precious just, i can't phone. use whatsapp uh, okay right so phone is her precious thing let's go to dan yes dan uh, most important my precious thing is i think i don't know yet i don't have a thought about it that what was... what takes up most of he it? got one i think i uh, like to write a lot uh, and okay i use my book to write all right I'm... what kind of stuff stuff do you write i write bible related stuff and okay. when i meditate i write things that god speak to me sometimes i don't feel that much uh, connection then i will just skip it skip the writing and uh, just pray uh, like that okay i i, I can't live without this because i love writing i think i discovered this uh, recently. recently and good i think i love writing why right, very good okay so here we have a budding writer author with excuse us excuse me yes did you publish any books 
No, he just recently started writing. Oh, <laughs> yes, yes. I just asked. Yeah, you showed one book. So, I that thought that you published it. Yeah, it's my own book, not my... <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's not even a journal. Anyone. I don't write a journal. It's a work in progress, sir. He can't reveal the yeah. details. Okay, once it comes out in on Amazon, we will tell you. Yes. I was dyslexic. <laughs> yes. So, okay. <laughs> Who else did I miss? Uh, have I missed anyone? Samuel. Oh, yes, Samuel. Oh, I forgot Samuel. Where are you, Samuel? Forgot your own son. Yes, uh, I, I didn't forget my son, but then I missed him. Yes. Where are you, Samuel? With, with Samuel. Oh, yeah. Uh, Which Samuel? Yeah, I'm, I'm here. Yeah. Only you are there today. <laughs> the, the, the second Samuel is not here. Right? Yes, I can't see him there. You want the content? Yes, show me your video. What is important? What is that? Oh. What is that in your hand? Food. Oh. It's actually food. Okay. That it's a mixture, but okay. But overall, it's food. So. What what food do you like the most? What? You can eat it later. What food do you like the most? One with um, protein. One with like? protein. If you know what I mean. What's your favorite dish? Chicken paneer and all that. Chicken paneer. Oh, I have not heard of a dish like that. Okay. Uh, Chicken. and paneer oh chicken and paneer okay right as examples okay do you like spicy or do you like medium less spicy uh less spicy medium. okay if you can't live with if you can't have food for a few meals how do you feel i would eat anything french <laughs> you would eat anything even vegetables yes okay so that would be a sign of desperation he loves to eat and if he doesn't get food for a few times meals then he would eat anything all right so thank you and i hope i have completed everyone yes catherine me. i didn't i didn't ask catherine okay who who else was there sir you didn't ask anton anton oh yes anton and catherine are the only two people yes So uh, over to Anton. What's your favorite? Bible. Anton? Bible, okay. Bible. So, so uh, would you call yourself a spiritual person? No. No. Okay, but you read the Bible. You need <laughs> to read the Bible. All right. So, which book are you reading right now? Not like that. Every day, I will. Uh, See which page comes to me. That means I will guess the number and until the number like that. I will take a page. Okay. Now, uh, if uh, <laughs> you know, if if you read all the books like that, you will not make any any sense of the book. You know, like uh, like Joe or uh, Alan, they were reading Geronimo Stilton. You know, you can't just open a book anywhere and just start reading. It will not make any sense, right? So always try to focus on one book of the Bible. and read that book completely so that will give you a good understanding of what you are reading right so good that uh, you know if you can't read the bible for a few days how do you feel anton i feel uh, i something that something boring and something yeah something so you, you like the you like the stories of the bible yes okay good so anton loves the bible and if he doesn't read the bible it's not good for him yes catherine over to you what's your favorite i don't know where are your teddy bears i thought they were your favorites so many teddy bears you have in your in your profile yeah. yes okay so Ka- catherine is going to show us what is her precious precious treasure uh, thing that you yeah, cannot live I'm without show it now okay what what is it it's my keyboard your keyboard okay she plays the keyboard and the keyboard is her favorite thing all right which is the song that you love to play on the keyboard i will sing of my redeemer that song i will sing of my redeemer all right really very like good that. okay so if you can't play the keyboard for a few days how do you feel it really happened oh it really happened why well, your keyboard got damaged yes okay so how did you feel at that time very sad yeah you're waiting for it to get fixed and come back right Six months. All right. 
three and a half months. Three and a half months, six months. That's quite a long time. All right. Okay. So here we have it. That was called show and tell. Okay. My favorite, my favorite object is, of course, my my guitar. It's right here. Okay. And if I don't play the guitar for a day, I feel like I'm not, I'm not done something. No. So I, I play the guitar a lot. Whenever I'm free, I take the guitar and I play the guitar. And I also like to read. And that uh, reading also, if I don't read it for a few days, I feel like I've missed something. So reading is also a favorite thing of mine. A thing I can't live without is uh, music. So I, I always try to listen to a lot of music. All right. Okay. Uh, yes. Do you play Christian songs or uh, other uh, songs in guitar or both in uh, free time? I I play usually Christian songs. Ah, uh, yeah. But, uh, you know, I, I also play Happy Birthday to You, which is not a Christian song. <laughs> uh, uh, so, which are books do you read? I um, The books that I read, maybe you may not know. The, I, I read all books, but uh, some of the books that I read, you may not be knowing it. So, I read the books like... You know, these are the books that I read. This is by, I'm going to ask you, this is a book I'm reading right now. I've been reading it for almost uh, six months now. I've not finished it. These are all stories about people who uh, whose lives were changed because of this man called Billy Graham. Okay, that's a book I'm reading one. And another one that I'm reading is How Come God? Okay, it's a very small book. I've been reading it only for uh, almost two weeks now. It's all about uh, the book of Job. And uh, I, it helps me to understand the Bible a little better. But I also re read storybooks. I have a, a huge uh, storybook collection also. I read um, a lot of comics. Yeah. Uncle? Yes, Joe. The Billy Graham, uh, he is the one, he believed in Lord Jesus and he lived up to 99 years. He lived? Up to 99 years. Yes, correct. Yeah. So, yes, sir? Yes. Did you read the Count of Monte Cristo? No, I didn't read the Count of Monte Cristo. It's a classic, I know. I didn't read it. Uh, but uh, I, I read other classics. Many of that the other was... classics. Count of Monte Cristo was there uh, in one of our uh, I know, school, school subjects as a textbook. Because of that, I didn't read it. No. Uh, otherwise, Did I you read uh, Dracula? Yeah, yeah. I read Dracula. Yes, Bram Stokers. Uncle, Uncle my yes. precious thing. Yes. Ellen, yes, I didn't hear you. My precious thing. My precious thing. Yeah, I'm carrying my uncle, my sister. My precious oh, yeah. Oh, yes. There, there is her sister. What's her name, Carolyn? Catherine. Catherine, that's your, that, your, your sister says you are her favorite. Yeah. Is that true? And I, I love you. Oh, very good. Okay. So, what were you doing so long? Uh, studying, probably. Not bad, not bad. So, you're a, you're a good student, huh? Yeah, my English teacher loves me. Yes. So, make your sister proud of you. Do well. Yeah, she's angry because my fluency is so good and she's like, not like it. <laughs> like, no! Secrets, secrets. Shh, mute yourself. Okay. <laughs> All right. Thank you for joining, Catherine. Yes. All right. So come back. Let's come back to the Bible. We are in chapter uh, chapter five of Luke. Chapter five of Luke. Right. And we are going to just look from verse twenty-seven to thirty-two. Luke chapter five, verse twenty-seven to thirty-two. Right. Keep your Bibles open, and let's go right in. Okay, Luke chapter 5, verses 27 to 32. After this, he went out and, oh sorry, we, we already did that. So we have to go from chapter 5, verse 33 to 39. Sorry, 33 to 39. Chapter 5, verses 33 to 39. And they said to him, the disciples of John fast often and offer prayers. And so do the disciples of the Pharisees. But yours eat and drink. And Jesus said to them, Can you make wedding guests fast while the bridegroom is with them? 
the days will come when the bridegroom is taken away from them and then they will not they will fast in those days he also told them a parable no one tears a piece from a new garment and puts it on an old garment if he does he will tear the new and the piece from the new will not match the old and no one puts new wine into old wine skins if he does the new wine will burst and the skins uh, burst the burst the skins and it will be spilled and the skins will be destroyed but new wine must be put into fresh wine skins and no one after drinking old wine decides new for he says the old is good all right let's look at this passage with jesus is asked a question okay he is having a question the question is on fasting okay the question is basically on fasting so why 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 do they have to ask this question i think it's a continuation of what happened at uh, at matthew's house you know matthew gave a feast levi you know his name is levi in this and in matthew's gospel we found out his name is matthew so matthew or levi after you know he left the tax collector's booth and started following jesus he wanted to invite all his friends so that they could meet jesus and jesus could meet them and jesus had a great time with them you know he had a blast he had a fantastic time having food at that place talking to uh, you know levi's friends and these pharisees were looking from outside they looked inside and they saw hey what is he doing there you know he is eating all this good food and laughing and talking to all the sinners tax collectors what kind of lousy people jesus is spending time with and so he got they were not they were not happy about it you know so they are asking this question and uh, they are comparing jesus's disciples with the disciples of john the baptist and they are comparing jesus's disciples with their own disciples the disciples of pharisees see so what is a disciple disciple just means a student who is willing to learn okay disciple means a student who is willing to learn from a teacher now those days the students used to follow the teacher wherever the teacher goes the student also goes so when in the journey also the teacher will be teaching them many things while he is teaching also he will teach many things okay so as the as the speaker as the teacher keeps on telling things they will take down notes they will remember those things you know that's how they learn so they spend more and more time with the teacher they follow the teacher wherever the teacher goes and that's how they learn so here was a, jesus has disciples they also were following jesus wherever he went so they are asking this question about jesus's followers jesus's disciples and what is the question he says john's disciples fast our disciples also fast but your fellows they are always eating and drinking oh what kind of spirituality is this always eating and drinking spirituality you know don't you guys ever fast okay. what is fasting you know fasting is quietly choosing not to eat food for a little time quietly choosing not to eat food for a little time in order to give extra attention to god see i'm choosing not to spend a lot of time yeah yeah i'm going to repeat i'm quietly choosing not to eat food for a little time so that i can give some extra time and focus on god that is what fasting is you know it's just like prayer it is you know when you're fasting you have to pray when you're fasting you have to read the bible you have to, you're spending in time in god's presence and you know nammal parayathile so uh, we i'm spending time with my old classmate he came to visit me and uh, we didn't have much time he was here in trivandrum only for one night so he came to stay at my house and we stayed awake the whole night talking about all the adventures that we had the things that his life is going through right now my life is going through right now about our plans for the future everything we talked about one whole night and i didn't feel like sleeping he also forgot about sleeping we didn't even want to eat food because we were so happy talking about you know our things the same way fasting is like you know you forget about eating then you forget about drinking and you f- you just sit in god's presence and you pray and study the word of god you know read the word of god study keep on praying you know sometimes people do that they f- they 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 keep away food so that they can sit in god's presence and give more attention to god okay so quietly choosing not to eat food for a little time 
in order to give extra attention to god is what we call fasting okay it is like a spiritual discipline just like prayer it is a spiritual discipline okay a christian you know uh, jesus says ought to do it when you do it you have to do it like this that's what jesus says okay what what are the conditions that jesus attached to to this turn with me to the book of um, uh, matthew chapter 6 and verse 16 matthew chapter 6 and verse 16 okay now chapter 6 and matthew. verse 16 matthew chapter 6 and verse 16 when you fast okay jesus is not saying if at all you are fasting he's saying when you fast because jesus expects everybody to be fasting okay at least sometime uh, in your matthew life matthew chapter 6 verse 16 onwards 16 to 18 verse 16 okay thank you sir. Yeah, so uh, he is not saying that you know. In case you feel like fasting, he is saying when you fast, just like he says when you pray. In verse five, he says when you pray. See, every time we know Christians ought to pray. What is prayer? Prayer is communicating with your Father in heaven, right? He says Jesus was teaching us. He says our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. So, regarding that, we are praying. We are praying. We are praying. So, all prayers are addressed to your Father in the name of the Son. We ask, and the Father grants us. See. that's that's not a formula for prayer that is how prayers are that's how god desires prayers and god expects us to pray it's a very powerful tool that has been given into our hands say pray jesus says pray jesus himself was a praying man you see he showed us that it is very important that you pray every day morning jesus go into remote places far away from his people sit alone in god's presence and pray that was a must for jesus that's how he started his day so if we are also finding that important then fasting is also part of our life just like prayer is part of a christian's life fasting is also part of our life okay so jesus is giving some conditions for fasting he says when you fast do not look gloomy like the hypocrites for they disfigure their faces no bhakshanam kadikada avu nammalokke mugam maaru nammal ayyo appa endu vittu ingane mugam vechondirikkune oh kore divasaye kalichittu rendu moonu divasaye endu ammo endu oru veshapane oh don't look like you are fasting you know which means it should be done in secret it is not meant for showing off your spirituality to others you know that is what some people thought it was that's what the pharisees thought they were doing you know that they should exercise this you know faces should change and you should look you know disfigure their faces that their fasting may be seen by others see so then they will say oh fa- a pharisee man he's a great great prayer warrior he's a fasting man you see his spirituality is where a level you know bhayangara with his spirituality so people will say good things about your spiritual life that is why people were fasting in open they wanted other people to know that they were fasting you know i was sitting in a house and uh, there was this person you know he was calling up his friends and he was telling everybody you know i am going to start a fast uh, i am going to be fasting for 40 days uh, so you, you know you want any anything special from god you tell me i will pray for you and i was looking at this man i'm saying why is he fasting you know he is telling everybody that he is going to fast now see our fasting should be done in very secret just like giving you know when you give to somebody you know uh, you're giving uh, some money to somebody don't show everybody like i'm giving 500 rupees to joe okay for god's work i'm giving to joe yeah? don't do don't do like that why because nobody should see that you are giving to god it should be done in secret bible says let not your left hand know what your right hand is doing okay let not which means I mean, it's not possible left hand will know what the right hand is doing it's all connected to the brain right but what jesus is saying is let it be a very secretive thing between god and you you know you're not looking for praises from men you're looking for god to appreciate you so let it be a secret thing between god and you just like that prayer in secret fasting in secret every spiritual discipline must be practiced in person in when you are alone you know in private if you're not doing it alone if you're not doing it by yourself please don't make a display of it outside because people they will think you're a hypocrite you know god knows that you're a hypocrite when you do that so people who don't pray at home you know they don't pray but they, when they go to church they will pray long prayers and god will look at this man and say oh yendo i have never seen you for the last one year you know you were in quarantine maybe huh? i never saw you but now in church you're praying such long prayers god is not pleased with that yeah so when you show off your spirituality that is what calls a hypocrite 
hypocrites the word hypocrite comes from the greek word which says actor actor no nadanmaru nadimaru we don't want to be actors in our spiritual life god wants us to be genuine people of you know spiritual things don't be an actor be genuine be real okay so uh, some people are very good actors you know excellent actors like uh, we'll say uh, mohan lal and mammootty and you know, all super actor uh, they can act in spirituality and all they can close their eyes and pray for hours and say hallelujah praise the lord and you look at this person and, oh my god he's he's connecting with heaven right now and you know he's he's somewhere up there no he is very much here only and god knows how his spiritual life is when god looks from top he will say ah ah the kayan getittund the kayan kore kanda dana and he is not pleased with our spiritual life so then he says truly i say to you they have received their reward when did they receive the reward when people congratulated them and said oh great is your spirituality already your reward you have received but when you fast anoint your head anoint means put oil on your head and wash your face which means look fresh don't look tired and hungry and pathetic look fresh when you are fasting and that your fasting may not be seen by others but by your father who is in secret and your father who sees in secret will reward you see prayer is rewarded your giving is rewarded and fasting Sir, excuse me yes uh, anoint means anoint means uh, apply oil on your head okay 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 so uh, you know, don't look tired and you know haggard that's what it means so really uh, people who fast just don't go outside you can Sorry. go outside you, you you can go outside but look fresh don't don't uh, you know from your look itself people should say fasting you know and the chodikana da verudhu you know you should not look tired and hungry and all that and then go outside and face people and they will ask you like endha ingane irikkunna aaga melinju sheenichu poyallo naan fasting aanu publicity yes don't do it for publicity you know that's what okay. it means so don't let your prayer be for publicity don't let your fasting be for publicity don't let your giving be for publicity do it secretly unto god that is what the bible is teaching us okay so jesus does not like to show off your spirituality because he never liked it he never did it and he wants us to be real in our spirituality okay so don't be an actor be the real thing that's what he means all right so uh, did you know that uh, when jesus was uh, tempted in the wilderness he fasted for 40 days and 40 nights right we saw uh, in chapter 4 right luke chapter 4 he was fasting in verse 2 it says for 40 days he was in the wilderness he was fasting right so jesus could do that 40 days and 40 nights he did not have food there are other people also who have fasted in the bible for 40 days you know one is moses moses has fasted for 40 days and 40 nights okay now uh, there are other times when people you know when they are praying for other people some people choose to fast you know they don't need food but they will spend a lot of time praying for other people in in the history of israel we see that when israel was repenting you know avaru manasandra petta samayath when they were coming back to the lord they were they were so sorry for all the things that they did for all the idols that they worship for worshiping the wrong gods who were not gods at all when they went there and they came back they repented and they fasted and prayed they said lord forgive us you know so in repentance people pray and uh, when they are interceding for other people interceding means praying for other people people fast okay so fasting is a discipline that we can apply anywhere david you know when his um, uh, when his sin was caught and he had a baby that baby god said is going to die david actually fasted at that time you know so that they that the baby would not die he fasted and he prayed but then god said the baby will die the baby died but in that baby's place he gave another baby and that is solomon okay so david fasted and he prayed when he was you know sad in his heart he knew that the baby was going to die but he fasted and he prayed but god did not answer that prayer he did allow the baby to die but then he gave another baby to him and that is how we have as solomon okay so these are the fastings that are mentioned there are many more fasting that you will find in the bible but in the new testament yes jesus did fast the apostles also fasted okay so and he talks a lot about fasting in the book of corinthians paul speaks about fasting in the book of corinthians sir 
Yes, Joel. So asking, uh, necessary in in life, or we should only pray. Yeah, that's why I said it's a spiritual discipline. Okay, so uh, if you want to discipline your uh, your life, then uh, you know prayer is important for us. No, same like that. I, I Bible does not command us to fast. Okay, Bible doesn't uh, command us to you know uh, observe fast. In the Old Testament, it is there, but in the New Testament, it is not there. So it is. I would call it a spiritual discipline. Okay. if you if you want to spend time in god's presence you know if you are if you are going to do if you are going to be busy with other things okay don't don't fast why because you are not going to focus on god you are not going to let your, your mind be focused on what he wants you you are going to do, go to your office and do your regular work and lot of lot of things your mind will be so caught up that will be more like dieting okay you want to slim down don't fast okay some people do that they have this uh, you know in the church calendar we have the lent season and people don't understand what is the reason for fast is and some people say okay give up non vegetarian food and that is fasting bible does not speak about a fast like that okay just because you don't yeah maybe maybe to discipline yourself you can use that fast you eat too much of chicken and too much of meat and too much of fish you avoid that for 40 days it will be good for your body okay but it is not a real fast according to the bible then some people uh think that okay uh, i can stop watching tv if tv takes too much of your time if the mobile takes like uh, ebana was telling us mobile takes too much of her time then she would choose a fast where you know i won't touch the mobile for 40 days oh that would be good that'll be a good change or 10 days if you if you can live without your mobile for 10 days oh that's a good fast okay so whatever takes your time away from god if you are willing to sacrifice that and say okay i want to come back to god and spend some quality time in god's presence by praying reading the bible studying it excellent that would be a good fast okay so, but bible fasting is you say no to food uh, and you spend some quality time in god's presence but quietly don't let anybody else know and that extra attention has to be given to god that's what it means okay so it's not a command if you feel like you got to do it if god tells you to do it you do it nothing in the new testament is a command like that it is out of love that we do it see for the pharisees it was for them it was part of their religion they had to do it for them it was like a duty you know if they don't do it then they are they are not complete pharisees they are not complete you know religious people so to show off their religiosity that they are religious people they made it compulsory to fast in christian life there is nothing compulsory it is always out of love that we do it that's what jesus is also trying to answer them see so they may they they had no joy in it you know when you fasting you should have joy in it If you don't have fasting joy in fasting don't fast you know uh, these fellows never had any joy in fasting but they were saying hey you got to do it guys you know that's like forcing some some rule on you and because you're a christian you got to fast and jesus looked at them and he said something very very surprising see what did he say he said can you make the wedding guests fast while the bridegroom is with them what is it see weddings in israel lasted for almost a week and that was the most joyful celebrating time that people had they didn't think about you know anything else but the bridegroom and the bride's joy and they are they all, they all had a good time they they celebrated with the joy of the bridegroom they celebrated with the joy of the bride and they they just put up put aside all their workload and all their tensions and all they just spent a lot of time in that that house just celebrating with them enjoying with them eating a lot of food talking about everything and you know just supporting and playing games and all those things celebration was going on when the wedding was going on and jesus compares that to the relationship that we have with him and he says when jesus is present it is a time of great joy and celebration see i did not come to make life dull and boring see we talked about the most important thing in our life right when that thing is there life is not boring you know when when you read books life is not boring when you play music life is not boring why because that is part of your life and jesus says i have come to make life joyful i have come to make life a celebration not boring and you know like a funeral you know you go to a funeral and you can't even smile everybody is like chiricha endengalum prashnam ellarum nokku chirikku hey marichu vittlana chirikkunnu marichu vittlana tamasha ekka parannu you can't do that why it's a funeral right and that person is dead and you have to be showing a serious face yeah so if you want to joke about something you go outside the gate and you talk there don't talk inside where everybody is crying yeah we respect their feelings but christian life is not a funeral you see 
our savior is not dead and buried in the grave he is alive he is resurrected and he is reigning in heaven so we should be joyful people okay so jesus says i have not come to make life a dull boring affair i have come to make life a celebration and celebration of great joy so if you know the bridegroom you will share in his joy but you guys don't know me you know you don't know the bridegroom you don't know that i am the bridegroom you see so naturally your life is full of boring stuff your religion is dead and you are practicing boring stuff that's what jesus is telling them so their their joy was not there why because they did it not from their heart they did not do it because of love for god they did it as a duty there was no joy in it they did it for selfish motives they did it for the praise of man so jesus looked at them and said meaningless all that what you're doing is meaningless so jesus compared himself to a bridegroom and he compared life with him to a wedding celebration full of joy and celebration all right so then he says one day the bridegroom will be taken away from them what did he mean by that he was talking about his rejection and his death on the cross he said one day i'm going to be taken away after that after i'm going to be separated from the disciples that time they're going to fast that time they'll be grieving that time they'll be mourning you know for them it will be a painful thing at that time they will fast but not now you see so after that day the disciples would fast not now then was 36 he also told them parables you know three things he compares himself his life with life with jesus compared to three things first of all a garment second of all wine skins and third of all wine okay what are the three things yeah i want to say it again first of all he compares life with christ as a garment I mean cloth dress okay and second of all he says compare it with wine skins we don't use wine skins now but in those days they used to use wine skins wine skins are containers where wine is kept okay third thing that he compared it with is real wine okay real wine now what what is the comparison like it's like saying see there is an old dress which is torn damaged it needs repair so what do you do you go to you know a pothis or you go to max and get a brand new t-shirt and you bring it home and you take a piece from that t-shirt cut it out and then you put on that old dress okay you stitch it onto that old dress and what happens your new dress has got a big hole in it and the old dress it's not matching why the the color is faded the rest of the dress is faded it is almost torn but this new patch is like shining you know it doesn't suit it doesn't it doesn't match up and jesus says you have destroyed the new dress and you have destroyed the old also so nobody does that see what is he comparing here he is comparing the Juda- jewish religion called judaism he says that is old and stale and it is dead and what i am bringing is something full of joy and celebration life with christ it is something really spiritual and it cannot be you know put into judaism why because judaism is gone it is finished it is a set of rules and regulations and that doesn't suit with each other you see i have not come here to revive judaism i have not come here to you know put renew judaism and make it more powerful no judaism i am going to finish off with but i am going to start a new relationship the religion is dead but the relationship is going to be alive it's going to be new that's what jesus is trying to compare secondly he again does the same thing with wine skins he says no one puts new wine into old wine skins see old wine skins are stretched out and it's almost like bursting so new wine is actually fermenting you know fermenting means gas bubbles come out like soda you know when you open soda bottle or pepsi or something psh, the fizz comes out like the new wine is bubbling 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 and this bubbling new wine cannot be contained in old wine skins why wine skins will burst and you have lost good wine and you have lost the wine skin also so total damage so same thing again judaism cannot hold on to this new one why because it's the holy spirit you know holy spirit is going to fizz out and the old judaistic religion set of rules and regulations is going to burst out nothing can hold this power that is coming up you know so you can't put new life into judaism i am uh, bringing something new yes Who's what called? is judaism means judaism means the religion of the jews you know uh the jews even today believe in judaism only okay that's the they believe only in the old testament they don't believe in jesus christ they don't believe they don't have the new testament so they believe the, in the law of moses 
they believe that uh, religion is a set of rules and regulations like any other religion they are still waiting for the messiah yes they are still waiting for the messiah okay so, so sir uh, the messiah came and went right so what's yes. the point hmm. what's the point yeah uh, the point is that uh, you can keep waiting for the bus even if the bus is gone <laughs> <laughs> you, you will never get the bus, no? But uh, we can tell them, hey, the bus came and went or the train came and went. But they will say, no, no, I will wait in the bus stop only. I will not go. So uh, that is up to them. They will keep on waiting until the you bus... You mean they don't believe in Jesus? So no, they don't they believe in Jesus. Waiting. They don't believe in Jesus. Got it? So the old garment is compared to Judaism. The new garment is compared to the relationship that Jesus has brought same way the old wine skin is compared sir, to judaism yes why israeli peop, uh, people or judea people uh, will, uh, will not uh, believe in jesus ha huh. why yeah? yes uh, yeah the, it's not that all of them don't believe some of them when they hear the gospel they do believe there is a lot of missionary work going on within Israel or outside of Israel where Jews come out to study, a lot of missionary work is happening and they, some of them do believe in Jesus Christ. But the majority of them have not believed yet. Sir, Jesus had uh, tell them that uh, Jesus will the last, right? Uh, your voice went quite... Uh, I didn't hear the question. Sir, she is asking that Jesus said, said to all the people in the world and uh, especially Jews uh, that uh, he will save uh, them. Yes. So, he was a Jew himself, no? He was sent to the nation of Israel only. But uh, Israel rejected him. Israel did not accept him. Only very few people became Christian when Jesus was alive. Sir, but uh, uh, Jews... Uh, some Jews are not believing in Jesus, right? Many of the Jews are not believing in Jesus even now. Yes. Uh, then, then, uh... okay. Yes, so, sir, so just a minute. Yeah. Uh, so, she is asking that how will God save them? How will God save them? Yeah. So, will they be. Saved. Yeah, they have to believe just like how we have believed. Ah, uh, yeah. You know, okay, when when okay. Uh, it is like uh, the gospel is shared to us, uh, many of us believe, many of us don't believe. You know, when you tell uh, all our uh, uh, brothers and sisters in our church, also many people don't believe that. Many people don't believe that Bible is true. Some people think that the story of Jesus is only a legend. Some people think that the Bible is all full of mistakes, like that. Many people think many things. So not not every people who comes to church believe that Jesus is the Messiah. Not every person believes that the Bible is true also. So for the Jews also, same problem. Uh, many don't believe. Some people, uh, you know, uh, they, don't, they don't believe that uh, Jesus is true. They believe Jesus is a liar. He is a fraud. So they don't believe that. Some people think that Jesus was crazy. He, and people who believe in Jesus are fools. Uh, even in India, people think like that. No? So they are also normal like people like people of India. So they also don't believe in Christ. So what we have to do is shine. Shine our lights. So that people will believe. Tell them the gospel. You know, Keep sharing the gospel with them. And one day they will think that, okay, because this person who is telling me is believable, the story that I think he is saying is also true, then they would put their trust in Jesus. So it's the same thing anywhere. Wherever you go, people don't usually believe in, you know, they may have Christian names like John, Thomachan, and so they may not be Christian. They may not be believing in Jesus Christ. From their actions, we will know who they are. They will be lying, cheating, drinking, all those things will be there in their lives and they will have Thomas and name. And everybody will say, oh, Christian, Christian. No, he's not a Christian. He is a, he's living as though he doesn't even know God. So they are not Christian. Only those who follow Christ are Christians. All right. Okay, I hope that is clear for you. Right. Let's go on. The last one. He says about a new wine must be put into new wine screens, fresh wine skins, and no one after drinking old wine desires new for he says the old is good you see so what is Jesus saying there suddenly he just changed the whole thing and he said this wine that I am giving now is the best wine okay wine is always the older is better okay the old garment was Judaism the old wine skin was Judaism but the wine that Jesus is giving you know he's saying 
I'm giving the good wine. The old is good, which means this wine that I'm giving you is actually the relationship with Christ. That is the tastiest, most joyful thing that you can ever experience. The new wine, they'll say, ah, not good. See? So, old wine is tasty, old wine is good. So, Jesus is actually saying, what I am giving you is the real stuff. What I am giving you is real relationship. The other one was just a set of rules and regulations to attract you towards me. But what did you guys do? You made it into dull, boring religion and everybody keeps on becoming a hypocrite. I am not happy with that. This relationship is what I am trying to do. So that will be that will pass away. That will go over. That will go off. And this will come in. And unless you are ready for a relationship with me, your attitude won't change. You will still look at fasting and you will still look, still look at people who are praying in public. But you will not have a joy in your heart. You will not have love in your heart. There will be no change on the inside. And your prayers will not reach heaven. So this is what Jesus is trying to tell them. It's not about outward things at all. Spirituality is something very much inside. Your relationship with Christ matters. If you are a friend of the bridegroom, if you know the bridegroom, you will share in his joy, you will share in his celebration. But otherwise, religion is a set of rules and regulations. It becomes dull and boring and lifeless. It destroys our life. If we focus on activities, it destroys your life. But let's focus on relationship with Christ. Then spirituality Sir, becomes meaningful. Yes, Joel. If we are a bridegroom, uh, we will get what? I didn't hear that. You know, if you are a friend of the bride, if you know the bridegroom, who's the bridegroom here? Jesus is the Jesus. bridegroom. Yes. So if you know Jesus, and if you're really, you know, Jesus is your savior, and Jesus has saved your life and touched your life, then. Like he becomes precious to us, no? So we want to spend more time with Jesus. We want to listen to what he wants to tell us. Okay. That is the time when we start reading the Bible. Because we want to hear him speak through the word of God. So otherwise, Bible is also boring. No? When you read it, it doesn't make any sense also. So only when you are in a relationship with Christ, prayer makes sense. Fasting makes sense. Reading the Bible makes sense. Studying the Bible makes sense. So everything spiritual makes sense. Only when you are in a relationship with Jesus. Otherwise, it becomes boring. It becomes uninteresting. Dull. It's a waste of time. That's what Jesus is trying to tell us. Alright, I hope you understood. If you have questions, you can still ask after the prayer. Heavenly Father, we want to thank you. That you are teaching us something special from the word of God. You are helping us to understand that relationship with you is foundational. It is the most important thing in our lives. And Father, if we have missed this, then we are missing the whole point. Every religion is man's attempt to reach God. But relationship with Christ is the only relationship where God is trying to reach out to us. Help us to acknowledge that. Help us to understand that. And give our hearts into your hands. So that things that please you will please us also. Things that make you happy should make us happy also. Your joy will become our joy. Your peace will become our peace. Your celebration will become our celebration. And everything we do, whether it is studying the Bible or praying or fasting or anything that we do for you, we will do it out of love and out of joy. Not out of a sense of duty or because of a rule or a regulation. It will not be boring. I pray and ask this. That our lives would become joyful. Our lives would become a celebration. Because we are in a relationship with Christ. Because Jesus is our Lord. And Jesus is our Savior. We ask this in Jesus precious name. Amen.